So another thing you can do with uh, Visual Programmer is actually have some audio response. Um, the, keep in mind that the audio is actually coming from the computer, not from the board itself. So because you're always connected to the computer when using Hummingbird, um, you can make sounds come out based on certain expressions or sequences. So to activate audio, you just click down here. And there are three types of audio. There's a tone, which is a, a note on the keyboard. There's a clip, which is an audio clip, a wave file that you can get from you know, either a recording or from the internet or something like that. And then there's speech, which is taking text and turning it into speech. So we'll look at each of these. So here's tone. Let's say, for example, I wanted to play the C key. Okay, Just like that, I can click on the C key, hit save, save as, and I can say key of Oops, sorry, key of C. All right, and there it is. And I can do this one, let's say this one, and I can do save, save as, key of E, and then I can do this one, and I can say key of G. And if you get really complex, I mean, you can, you can base your notes on the octave that you're in, and uh, you can get really uh, very complex um, expressions going. And the nice thing is once these uh, are made, when we start to build our sequences, we could actually do things like playing a chord, a CEG chord, if you know uh, music, uh, music notation. Okay, and for the clips, you can do something like you can add a clip and all you would need to do is find a, a file on the internet. I'm not going to go get one right now, but if you know how to go download a file or record your own file, you can drag it there and then save that expression. And then lastly, you can create speech. So let's say I wanted to say something like, um, hi there, my name is John. Let's see how it handles that. Hit play. Hi there, my name is John. So not bad. And I can say save, save as. And maybe I can put something like, hello there. Uh, maybe I want to say audio, hello there. And that way, um, when I do that in my list of things, I'll know that that's the audio portion. So that's the other thing is when you start getting into naming your expressions, think about what you want them to be named so that they'll line up together and also they'll be easier to find if you stay consistent, like all your notes or start with key of. You know, all your LEDs start with LED. So it just depends on how you want to program, but basically think about what sort of conventions you want to use for naming, naming these different things. Okay.